What's up everyone? It's your boy NornRad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we're going to be talking about Halloween ends, my expectations, and also what I expect from the future of Michael Myers if I think Halloween ends will be the final film in the franchise. We'll see. Let's get down to it. And of course, let me know in the comment section what you think. What are what what are your expectations for Halloween ends and what do you think the future of Michael Myers will be after that? Also, I want to give a special shout out to the Lost River Drive-In for this sweet shirt. Look at this right here. Team Tina with the text right there. You see that? Oh, I love it. So let's get into this video. So right off the bat for Halloween ends, this is going to be the third film in the David Gordon Green trilogy. And with Halloween 2018, I was totally on board leaving the theater with that one. I love the atmosphere. I was highly enjoying that one that's actually in my top five michael myers films i think the kills in it james jude courtney the way it is just everything about halloween 2018 i was totally down for that one even the score by john carpenter and cody carpenter is like it's it's fabulous then halloween kills i felt a little underwhelmed that after watching it a few times there are things i really do enjoy about it like james jude courtney the kills are amazing but that middle act it just drags for me a little bit, and I feel like I'm not watching a Michael Myers film, so that's what kind of takes away from that one. But Halloween ends. We're here to talk about that one. And for to ending it, for being this trilogy, I think David Gordon Green and the writers and Danny McBride and all of them could really end it on a sweet note if they treat it the right way and they focus on mainly the confrontation between Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, Allison, and Michael Myers. Because this is going to be four years later. We've already found out. So there's going to be a couple routes they could go about this. My opinion, though, is like right off the bat, I think they're going to do like kind of the first 20, 30 minutes. We're going to be catching up with Laurie Strode, where she's at, Allison, where she's at, Michael Myers, maybe what he's been doing or maybe flashbacks of maybe kills, stuff that he's been doing since the past four years. And it's going to be kind of like a little catch up period. And then it's going to be a build up. And I think most of the characters or all three of them will not cross paths together until we get to that third act so that's what i'm really excited about but when you go that route of doing that kind of film the build-up has to be the right way it has to be the right build-up and you have to do the right timing the right pacing and that third act has to really fucking land so if the third act does not land it's like oh we just wasted like an hour 20 minutes an hour and a half committed to the story and we, what what happened so it's like oh let's you know that kind of stuff is what you worry about or is at risk when you're doing that kind of film or they can go the route where they'll probably have maybe Lori and allison and michael have multiple altercations throughout the film like that's another route you can go in this film but i think the other one would be a little bit better but it's more risky in terms of the style of the film that you're going for We've already gotten little nuggets on like Twitter accounts and like, you know, all kinds of stuff of what is in the film or possible hints like the radio tower thing. We've gotten shots of Laurie Strode and scenes on screen. We know that Jamie Lee Curtis already finished all her scenes for the film and stuff like that. So there's little nuggets of things going on, possibly a returning character, maybe Ben Tramer. Maybe we'll actually see him in this film. So, oh man, now, I'm excited for Halloween Ends because I want it to be, I don't necessarily need it to be the best but I am expecting it to be be the best. I don't need it to be, but I am expecting it in my mind. I think it's going to be the best out of these three films. So, oh man, like I said, I'm nervous for it, but excited at the same time. But now let's get on to talking about the future of Michael Myers. Because in my opinion, if I had a feel in my heart, I do not think this is going to be the last Michael Myers film or the last in this franchise. Like, I think they could really do more, you know, like give it some time, let some time simmer, let this franchise or this trilogy kind of, you know, get some more rewatches, a few more years, and then maybe kind of revitalize it. But for a fan, me being a fan, an idea that I had, I think would be really fabulous is if they went back to the whole Dr. Samuel Loomis thing and Michael Myers thing. And I would love if it was a TV show, like an 8 to 10 episode TV show of Loomis trying to track down Michael Myers, an escaped mental patient of his, following him, going through different cities while he's leaving a trail of bodies and all kinds of stuff. So that's the kind of thing I would really enjoy and I think would be fabulous. You know, take Laurie Strode and Jamie out of it, like make it nothing to do with them. Just make Michael Myers an unstoppable force of nature, a killer and Loomis trying to stop him. We can get an awesome new Loomis for this age and this, you know, new decade. So I think that would be pretty interesting. Plus, when you have an eight to ten episode like TV show, 
you know, that's if it's an hour long episodes, that's eight hours to 10 hours of awesome content that we could be diving into seeing Loomis do some scenes with Michael in the hospital talking to him, you know, scenes of Michael killing people in the towns like, you know, Loomis talking about him with other people as he's tracking him down. So there's a lot of room for cool, awesome experiences and new things that we can do if they decide to dive into a TV show with the Halloween franchise. So thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. Like I said, just wanted a little chill video. I got this shirt and I was like, Lost River Drive, and it inspired me. I was like, man, let's do a video talking about what I want for Halloween ends and I think the future. And I really had that awesome idea of that TV show. I think that would be badass, like for real, to see a Halloween TV show. I would be down, you know, Netflix or HBO Max, whoever wanted to pick it up, or Peacock, you know what I mean? But Because TV shows now, they do get a lot high-level budget compared to what they did in the mid-90s to late-90s and early 2000s, so I would be down to see that. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. What is the future for Michael Myers? What are your expectations for Halloween Ends, and are you excited? And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And breeze through the channel. I just went through my Psycho binge, so I reviewed all five of those films and ranked them against each other. So make sure to check that out. And have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.